Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make Venus-like planets. So if we zoom in on Venus here, you can see very thick atmosphere. And also we're actually going to go into the settings on how to get these really high temperatures. See the average temperature is 422. And to keep that stable over long periods of time. Alright, obviously the first step is going to be a star. I'm just going to use the sun, but well, you're welcome to use any star you want. I'm going to turn on the habitable grid, and I'm going to put it in the red. All right, so once you've got your planet down, take a look at what we got here. This one, this one looks like it's got an atmosphere already. So first step you're gonna want is you're gonna want it pretty close to Earth's size, um, but anything within 20%, so like 80. We'll just go about right here. So 83% of Earth. Then go to surface. And sea level, you just don't want any water, so you can also go to composition and just turn this water tab all the way down. Go back to surface. And if it has ice on this, you could just hit melt all. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch where when you take away water, it'll freeze. But that'll get rid of that. And then what you can do is scroll down even more to the atmosphere. And this is where things are going to get interesting. So for the atmosphere, you're actually just do about one Earth's atmosphere to start. And then what you can do is in this infrared emissivity, you can hit this down arrow and this will add this will show you the number of atmosphere layers and if we take a look at venus really quick we can see venus has 215 atmosphere layers so that's where it gets major heating from and also this this slider we're going to want to turn up also so we can delete venus and then go back to our planet here so for this you're going to want it pretty much 100 we'll go 99 and this changes the greenhouse effect. So this is how much hotter the planet is because of the atmosphere. And if we change the atmosphere layers here, you can see that's gonna raise it a lot. 894 degrees, maybe not that much. Um, so you're gonna want it not super hot. I'd say around four to 500 Celsius is ideal. And after you do that, that's more of like the heat settings, but then what you're gonna wanna do is go to appearance and then go to atmosphere right here and change this opacity to 100%. This is where you get the really thick atmosphere look. And you can change the color to whatever you want. Venus is more of like a yellowish green color. But I'm going to do more of an orange color. So this is my Venus planet. And this should heat up fairly quickly. Yeah, we can see it start to heat up right here. Until it should get around 500 and then stop. Yep. And that should be stable. We're going... Yeah, thousands of years. This is 800 years per second. And it's staying pretty stable. So that'll be it for this tutorial on how to make Venus-like planets. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. Thank you.